these patterns were not understood by Indian founders. They were just building Western copies. And therefore, at one point of time, I saw there were 10 startups that were funded for doing laundry startups, which were popular in New York. But in India, we had maids coming at home. Why do we need a laundry startup? But there were 10 yeah. companies that got funded. So there were so many f f investors who were clueless. So many founders who were living in India who are clueless. So during that period, I started working on a framework. Uh, I call it the Delta Four framework on predicting startup success. Because my curiosity was that how am I able to be successful more often when I'm not even one-tenth the academic smarts that some of these guys have demonstrated in the past, but why am I able to do it more successfully? So I built a framework and... And and because I was between two startups, I had a time to read up on physics and biology and evolutionary biology and trust. So I was going all over the place. Obviously, I was on, on your blog and like I'm connecting all these dots in my head. And I found that the evolution of startups was very similar to biological evolution and, and nobody was thinking like that. So I, I'll give you a sneak preview of that, that framework. It's easier to understand, but I'll tell you. For example, if I asked you, in that... Uh, which product or service was more efficient 20 years ago than it is today? If, you are, if I have asked you this question, which product or service was more efficient 20 years ago than it is today? It's really impossible to find an answer. Like it's, there was nothing more, uh, uh, more efficient. All the efficiency exists in the future. So humans are constantly moving from inefficiency to efficiency in one direction and like almost like arrow of time uh, and and therefore any product or service that changes you from state a which is inefficient to state b should unlock something that is called as wealth uh, so I, I built a simple framework which is sounds simple but most people still don't use it is let's say i, I asked you that what do you think is the efficiency score of booking a cab through uber on 10 or versus the old method that existed of booking cabs, whatever that method was. Most people would say, maybe this is seven, eight on 10. That is maybe two on 10, one on 10, three on 10. So the framework is very simple that every time the delta of efficiency score is greater than or equal to four, three things happen. Uh, it's an irreversible behavior. Once you experience a delta four product or service, you cannot go back. Uh, there is obviously very, very high tolerance. Uh, that's the second thing that uh, you will hate Uber, but you're not going to like, damn it, I'm going to delete this app and I'm going to move to a more inefficient behavior. The third thing is, which I call as a UBP, a uh, unique bragworthy proposition. Humans, when they discover something Delta 4, they can't stop bragging about it everywhere almost like a secret code that all humans have with each other that every time you discover Delta Four, brag about it and tell everybody about it and move the entire humanity from state A to state B, which is more efficient, which reduces their local entropy uh, and, and moves them forward to a more efficient medium, which burns less in energy uh, than in any form, time, money, uh, or, or wealth uh, uh, to uh, uh, move forward to more efficient methods. And I realized that most startups were not looking at this. I'll give you a simple framework uh, to think where it doesn't work. For example, let's say, uh, let's talk about buying shirts online versus offline. It's not Delta four if you have, let's say, odd sizes or, and you have the challenge. And therefore, shirts have not moved completely online. Uh, and, and many products will not be found because just by adding tech, it doesn't become Delta four. Right? It has to improve the efficiency score of the desired behavior. And I think that framework, uh, I, I talked about it in India. Uh, funny enough, I, I was told by Sequoia in the US, they've actually introduced this framework in the onboarding of analysts in the Sequoia US uh, team, which was interesting because in India, even if I've spoken about this framework, still startups don't apply that. And I see 90% of them fail all the time. Back to the analogy of, building a dam where rivers don't exist. And, and rivers are nothing but motivations, right? Like at the core of it, we all, all humans have the same core motivations. And then it goes into streams and creates more rivers 
from that stream constantly, right? But at the core of it, it's the same thing. You want to increase your social status. You want to improve your mating success. You want to have success for your progeny and so on and so forth. It all boils down to the same motivation things. And then you can put them into so many different rivers that flow.